Estonian Defense Forces Intelligence Center anticipates consequences of the lost ammunition on the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine. The attack by Ukrainian drones on a missile depot in the Russian city of Toropets on September 18 will lead to consequences on the front of Russia's war against Ukraine, which will be noticeable in the coming weeks. This was stated by the head of the intelligence center of the Estonian Defense Forces, Colonel Ants Kiviselg. He noted that the Ukrainian defenders struck the warehouse at a time when some of the Russian ammunition had not yet been placed in the bunkers. Therefore, a chain of explosions occurred. Kiviselg recalled that 30,000 tons of ammunition exploded, that is, about 750,000 shells. According to him, Russia produces 10,000 shells a week. That is, it is a two-three month supply of ammunition. Ukrainian Defense Forces struck three Russian ammunition depots overnight, the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine reported on Saturday. The first arsenal, which is among three largest ones in Russia, was hit in southern Krasnodar region and is one of the key arsenals in the logistics system of Russian invaders. At the moment of the attack, there was an echelon delivering more than 2,000 tons of ammunition, including from the North Korea. In addition, Ukrainian forces attacked Podlet radar station. Satellite images show that the nearby airfield has also caught fire. The second Russian ammunition depot that came under Ukrainian attack is located near Oktyabrsky settlement in Tver region. The arsenal of the main artillery directorate of the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation by State Security Service of Ukraine. Fire and explosion took place in the areas of both military arsenals. Furthermore, the State Security Service of Ukraine reported that its drones hit an airfield and ammunition depot in the Kaluga region of the Russia. The ammunition depot stored artillery and missile weapons for the Iskander Operational Tactical Missile Systems and the Tochkayu Tactical Missile Systems. The drones also hit the Shaikovka airfield, where Tu-22M strategic aviation aircraft are stationed. The strike caused fire not only in warehouse, but also in the area north of the Tykoretsk military airfield. The European Union should invest more than 500 billion euros in the development of the defense industry as Russia may be ready for a confrontation with the EU in six to seven years. This was stated in an interview with Reuters by Andreas Kobilius, former Prime Minister of Lithuania, who will soon take up the post of the first ever EU Commissioner for Defense. Defense ministers and NATO generals agree that Vladimir Putin could be ready for confrontation with NATO and the EU in six to eight years, Kobilius said. According to him, if we take these assessments seriously, then it is the time for us to properly prepare and it is a short one. He emphasized the need to make quick and ambitious decisions. In addition, Kubilius's first job will be to identify, together with EU Foreign Policy Commissioner Kaja Kalas, the resources needed by the EU to prepare for a military challenge. The official plans to complete the preliminary study within the first 100 days of his tenure as European Commissioner. Kubilius added that he would be glad to invest in more than 500 billion euros over the next few years to develop Europe's defence industry. The new plan by the North Atlantic Alliance stipulates that, in the event of a Russian attack, Estonia has the right to strike back at the Russian territory, states the chief of the Joint Staff of the Estonian Defence Forces, Vahua Karos. Major General Vahur Karos noted that until recently, NATO's defense plan required the Estonian army to hold off Russian forces on its own for around 10 days until help from alliance members arrived. 
However, according to him, the new NATO plan allows Estonia's military to strike and defeat Russian forces on Russian territory in the event of an attack on Estonia. This is a significant shift. It's a change that the war in Ukraine has brought to many NATO allies. We can no longer wait to be hit like a sledgehammer, but we must be the first to act and have the ability to take certain measures, said Vahua Karus. Recently, the defense ministers of Latvia, Poland and Romania called on their NATO allies to immediately strengthen air defense measures on the alliance's eastern flank. In early September, a Russian drone crashed in eastern Latvia. According to military reports, it was a bomb-laden Shahed drone. Russian drones also violated Romanian airspace. In both cases, the air forces did not attempt to shoot down the enemy targets. Their military stated that they had directives from NATO command not to respond to such incidents. Following these events, Lithuania's Ministry of Defense urged for a change in the airspace patrol protocols over the Baltic states to allow for the downing of Russian missiles.